<laughs> Don't worry, Vincent's the only person that knew what shipping was. Joel or Jaya? What do you pick? Jaya? Oh, I. Yeah, yeah. You get it? No, I do. I do like funny guys. I'll pick them. Okay. Okay. You, you ship it then? Yeah, you ship it. You ship it though. You ship. You ship them as a couple. Is that slang? That's the thing. It's true. I gotta say something. Apparently, I've been actually thinking shipping's a little bit different. It's it's not that you dig it. It's that you like it at them as a couple. Like it's the end of relationship. So you you ship it. Yeah, man. Like uh, you and uh, Jay ship it. We ship it. Yeah. Oh, I like Ro it. You and Ronan I ship it. They have names. But everybody has couples. Oh man. Everybody. They, they ship this and they ship that and there's names that have electricity attached to it now and our elemental powers and dude it's, oh, it's they're, they're hardcore like they're hardcore it's like we're involved in a soap opera we didn't even know existed what's your other favorite ninja other than Nia and I'm not going to be offended if you don't choose Zane Zane most memorable moments that you've ever recorded Yeah. Well, my, my favorite moment was there's like a line, like, there's something like, unless you like dramatic pauses, you can tell. And I put in like this, like, really big pause yes. in my line. To the point where like Michael Donovan thought like the soundboard was not <laughs> working and everything. Yeah. But then when I hit the punchline, everybody laughed. What season was that? I don't know. All right. I don't even know if it made it. Probably my yeah, pause they, didn't they make could, it. They could have shortened the pause. Oh, they definitely probably. I wonder if they. Does anyone know? In the comments below, write if they actually did. And how long was the pause? Tell me how many seconds. I'll let you know. Okay, thanks. Okay. I doubt yeah. it the damn. Does the voice of Mia come naturally, or do you have to put it on a little bit? I, I have to tighten my voice a little bit and put it up in my head more. Is that the voice you did when you were planning it, like they, or did they tweak it in the first session? Um, do you like your power, the water? The water power. Yes, but I was thinking, like, like you are ice and I'm water. They're the same element, just a different form. So, you know. So, it would make more sense if you and I were brother and sister. Maybe. And also, who's the master of steam? Watch out. <laughs> did theater first, right? Yeah. And then from theater, you found out, you got an on camera agent? Uh, no, I got a voice agent. Voice agent, okay. Um, I, I wanted to make some money. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. And I thought, oh, I either need to go back to school and do something totally different, or I need to go into the field that actually can make some money with my skill set. So I'm still waiting to like buy my house in Vancouver. In but Vancouver, that, in the city? Good luck. I know, that was the dream. I did it. Good luck. Look up real estate in Vancouver. You'll see why. If Nia somehow got transported from Ninjago to the real world, you were standing. She was standing right in front of you. What advice would you give her? That she's on the right track. That like learning to build things and um, working with machines and technology is a cool thing for a girl to do. And so you wouldn't give her advice. You just encourage. Yeah. Say you go, girl. If I want to get um, a, a bigger part in future seasons. Yeah. I need a flaw to fight against. I mean, what is Nia's flaw? Because right now Nia can do. She's the smartest. She is most emotionally in control. Other than that episode, uh, the only Zane would be more emotional. They control because he's a right. robot. Right. I got no emotion. We'll have to think about yours though. Yeah. If we're gonna get you more lines. Yeah. Take a Let's think of a flaw. Have you ever worked with any of the Ninjago cast before the show? Like when we all walked in the room. Who did you know? 
you would not know this, but years ago, I worked on a project where I um, voice directed and cast a project, and I used to be an animation writer, and um, I cast Kelly as a part. We just only, we only did a few episodes of the show, but I worked with Kelly on that end of things. Know, not not was, as a fellow voice actor. That was 2008, and I came back thinking I got all these cartoon series, and then... And then didn't go past didn't, the two episodes. Yeah. I was sadder than you did. And the guy who's in his project right now, he's so cute. He's such a nice guy. He was, he was so very, handsome. Yeah. He was, he, I mean, it was almost like me and him were brothers. Yeah. Except for I was white and he was black. <laughs> but we, were, we looked the same. Yeah. How old were you imagining Nia to be at the very start in the auditions? Eleven. Okay. Do you think that's accurate? I feel like they're kind of like the Simpsons and then they don't age. How old do you think Zane is? I think he is seventeen. Oh, maybe he's older. Maybe he's like well, twenty-one. There's this whole thing with Zane and that kid. Zane's not fair. The other act, the other guys. Okay, I guess if she was eleven, then like Jay would have been fifteen or something like that. But now his voice is older, and so there's been huge arguments with the okay, talent well, they over the ages of the actual ninja. Oh, like different actors think that yes. they're different. Yes, they think different things. What is based on the? I even went back and found the original email yeah. breakdown. And no ages are listed. No ages are listed. So I think Donovan told me the ages in the casting. But I finally got some info. The best case scenario is from the writer's interview. They gave me the most concrete. And what did they say? You're like, well, they would say now we are like 19-ish. You're always two years behind. Kirby was like, said we're 14. Right. Which would have put you around 12, which makes more sense with your idea. And I was saying we were 16 to 20, which puts you more around 14. But apparently you don't take my side, so let's not get into that anymore. Okay. <laughs> I just started doing Sylvie TV and I just get small parts, but every time I do it, I'm like, so fun. I wish I could do that every day. One day I got two days on set and I was like, so fun? Oh, I wish I could get up every morning and do that. Also, I love the food truck. Who's your role model? Yeah, Vincent. What is it like to work with Vincent? The legit question. Vincent is so badly behaved. He is a very good actor, but gosh, sometimes in Jocko, it's like you're in detention with all the bad kids, and but they're getting paid to be in detention. And the, the more badly behaved they are, the more money they get. And so I just sit there and be like, you got, this is incredible. That this is like a working environment. <laughs> you guys are incredibly, really lucky. Hey, me? No, not you as much. But like in general, it's, I, I'm, I'm. Let's just it. blame Vincent. For oh, oh. If, if Vincent wasn't in the room. Yeah, maybe he said. I like you, buddy. Love but, you, buddy. But, but Paul. Paul's bad. Well, I think, let's be honest, you're kind of stuck in the middle. I am. Of a I'm whole lot of bad. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. She's literally in the middle of the room, listening to. I mean, you got the best seat for all the jokes, though. Yes. But somehow they get aimed toward your direction to, to make sure that Kelly hears how inappropriate this next one is. When Jillian is, with, is in it. Yeah. Um, you guys are. You guys behave better. Really. But when it would just be me, then I'd be like. On here today, they're gonna be so bad. Do you relate to Nia in, in, in any way? Oh, oh, I know. Um, a couple years ago, I was uh, helping to build this robot sculpture of a snake and was learning to weld and like just kind of doing small Is it welding classes. Uh, it was like uh, with the arts organization called Eat Art, and some of the guys were teaching me to weld and do like simple mach machinist like yeah. activities. Um, and it was so cool. Also, I'm in the current book of Guinness Book of World Records with that snake called the Tatanaboa. No way. Yes. Your, your the name? The picture is not my name, but a picture of us with the Tatanaboa. You're in the picture. And I'm like holding like a couple grinders like this. That's and, impressive. And yeah, so every time we went to Costco and we saw the, the Guinness Book of World Records, yeah. it was there. We'd you open, signed every copy. We'd open it to page like 191 or whatever yeah. it was and then we would... We bought one though. Yeah. So when I, when I was doing that, when I was doing that building robots and 
I thought Nia was building a robo samurai, but maybe she wasn't building a robo samurai. I don't know, my imagination she was. Same as my imagination Nia Day thrown in. I fully 100 support, 100% support the idea of a robo samurai. <laughs> In season 7, Mia decides to be the water ninja and forget Samurai X. In episode 71, she finds out uh, someone else is Samurai X in a yeah. cave and someone else is using her things. Who do you think Samurai X is? Skylar. But I don't think it is because she appeared with an episode where like Samurai X appeared and Skylar appeared. And I was like, oh, that means Skylar's not Samurai X. Do you listen to The Fold? No, but I follow them on Twitter because somebody told me that I'm not geeky enough, you nerds. <laughs> no, you know the Fold is the band that does all the music for Ninjagi. You basically insulted a rock band right there. I thought the Fold is like a podcast. No, dude, they're the... Jump back, get the... Oh. I thought Vince saying that. No, that's a band. That's not us. But I thought you guys had a record session. We did have a record session at the very first Ninjago area where we sung the vocals on that. Apparently they like the Fold's vocals better and they went with the original song. So the Fold did the, ba like the backup track and the Ninja, we sung the theme song. But then when the show came out, it wasn't us, it's the Fold. And so every season we do, the Fold does remixes. They do all these crazy cool songs for the show, which Kelly has seen zero of. I've seen like two episodes of Ninjago. Next but, question, have you seen any episodes of Ninjago? Well, I know what's gonna happen, so why would I watch the show? Fair enough. But I, when I watch it, I'm like, wow, this animation it's, is great. It's really good. Like, the show's legit really good. Okay, like, I'll start watching When you start watching it, you'll be like, whoa, you'll be so proud of what you've done. Okay. to be a part of it. Okay. What were we talking about? Yeah, the full. Good band. I mean, yeah. So, the full is an awesome band. So, dude, so you're not nerds. Did you follow them on Twitter? But yet you thought it was a podcast? I, I think so.